What's going on everybody? My name is Matt, also known as Thrifter Sifter, and today I've teamed up with Vindu. I'm gonna do a little bit something different today. We're gonna go on a thrift run, and we're gonna see what we can find to flip for a profit. All right guys, we're at St. Vincent. I came here yesterday, but we're gonna stop by here and see if we can find something. This store's been doing pretty good for me lately, so let's see what we got. It seemed like everything I picked up in this thrift store, someone was standing right next to me. So it's kind of hard to film and talk and everything. So I hope you don't mind. I'm going to voice over a little bit. Lately, I've been checking for sealed VHS or even some vintage copies as well, because some of these have been doing really well. I thought all these were sealed brand new. I figured that was pretty good to pick that up. It was only $3, but unfortunately one of the VHS was open and they don't sell for much. So I ended up putting them back. So I rent a booth out in a local antique mall and I sell so much Tupperware. I had to pick this up. It's just like a little steamer, it's only $2. Here's a brand I sell sometimes. It's called Watertown Lifetime Aware. These were these pink plates. I think there were six in here for $4. This I thought was interesting. And that's usually kind of stuff I like to pick up. It was for $2, this Girl Scouts 10 box thing. Fortunately, it doesn't sell for a lot of money. It only goes for about $7 online. Not a lot sold, so I put it back. I've sold so many of these little icing spatulas, so I always look for them. Chicago Cutlery, I don't normally pick up a lot, but it was only $1.50. And I saw on Worth Point, they were going for a pretty decent amount of money. So I decided to pick it up. This is one of those little garlic crushers made by Echo. This doesn't really sell for a lot of money, but I haven't needed one for the house, so I had to pick it up for myself. I know I've seen this glassware somewhere. I couldn't think of who makes it. It was $2 for this plate. Definitely keep an eye out because some of these can go for a lot of money. It had a chip, unfortunately. I did pick it up, but I've seen similar stuff go for like $50 a plate. This is actually kind of cool. This is like old depression glass. So like a coffee mug for a dollar. It's really heavy. I couldn't find much on it. it Maybe like ten dollars, but it's really cool. I might keep this for myself. It's like super, super weighted. Fit a lot in there. It's definitely interesting. I don't pick up a lot of Cabela stuff, but the flannels can do pretty good, especially this time of year. Unfortunately, it was just a little bit dirty. I didn't really want to mess with washing it. But I was surprised. Some of the comps were actually pretty good. So I'm really tempted to buy this Ralph Lauren. It's a large, which I really prefer extra large or not. It's in really good condition other than right here on the neck. It's got this little tag. Normally I'd pick this up, but because of that, probably going to pass on this. Really better colors and stuff. I saw a lot better than this beige khaki kind of look. Got some nails, 275. It's got the wrong size insert in there for the feet, so that's the only downside. But they're in pretty good condition. Have a little wear on the back, but for 275, I think this is a pretty easy flip. Might as well pick these up. when I look these up too. It's too big of a Check this out guys. Kind of like much. These are Levi's, so faded, 36, orange tab, orange tabs do pretty good, so, it's got a pair of, it's got a pair of orange tabs. Pretty good. 36 is pretty tall, but 
should do fine. All right, guys, I'm back in my office now. It's actually been a few days since I went to that thrift run. I got back home that day and had so many packages to package up and ship out. I was just really busy for a couple days, but I wanted to go over everything that I picked up and show you what I plan on kind of doing with it and what my thoughts were on everything. So let's get into it. All right, so I don't normally buy a lot of jeans from the thrift store or even garage sales. I mean, I do buy some stuff, but um, I don't buy jeans all the time. But every once in a while, I like to keep some in stock because they have been selling pretty well for me. Now, these are Levi's 550 36 by 36. And this is uh, the same 550 36 by 34. That's actually my size. I may keep these because I have such a hard time finding jeans my size at thrift stores or even garage sales. So I'm probably going to keep these for myself. But there was one that had a spot on it. I ended up putting it back because it's just a little worn down and... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling good about it, but uh, for four bucks each, really not a bad deal. I've sold the shorts in the orange tab. I haven't sold the jeans before, but the comps are pretty good. I'm gonna put them up on the screen so you can kind of see what these are going for. They're really in pretty good overall shape. Pretty happy with those. I think they'll do pretty good. So definitely keep your eye out for those. I wouldn't go too crazy on jeans. I mean, I try to find them when they're like, size 32 waist and up. I really don't like to go too much smaller because they seem to be a little bit harder to sell. And then, you know, the length maybe 30 and up uh, just because, I don't know, it just seems like more adults around that size are buying jeans more online. That's just my theory on that. If you've got some recommendations, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts as well. All right, so these are Wrangler retro this is slum boot and i'll put some comps up on the screen what these are kind of going for i mean it looks like if anything i'll get about 20 dollars each for them i really don't like to pick up jeans unless i'm getting at least 20 dollars or so out of them just because i list about seven different measurements uh, for jeans so now this is a tupperware steamer it's two dollars for it let me see if i can open it up kind of give you an idea of what it looks like in here so it's got this little piece that goes inside this little piece I sell so much in my local vintage booth in town, it's not even funny. I sell at least one piece a day, you know, if maybe one day I may sell a few pieces, the next day I don't, but I sell so much in there. So this, I've actually never picked up this exact one before, but it goes for around $12 or so, maybe even up to, I don't know, 16, maybe I get lucky, $18 plus shipping. And most of this stuff, I just, as long as it's not brittle, I bubble wrap them and then I put them in a bubble mailer and ship it like that because uh, a box can get really heavy on shipping for trying to sell stuff like Tupperware. Now, honestly, I probably could have done without buying these. This is Watertown Lifetime Wear. Pink, yellow, green, they seem to be pretty good colors to pick up. And I don't know if you can see or not, it says uh, Watertown Lifetime Wear made in USA on the back right there. These got a little pattern on there, you know. I, let me see, there is seven total. I thought there were six when I, six when I was in the store, but something like this, I can get about $20, $25 for, I'm thinking. Uh, it may take a little while to sell, but stuff like this, sometimes it'll surprise you. I may put them in my antique booth and just put maybe like, you know, a couple of dollars each plate or something. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with those. Now this, I've actually, I sell a lot of Cutco icing spatulas like this all the time. There's some other brands, I can't think of off the top of my head that I sold. Chicago Cutlery, I really don't mess with a whole lot just because it doesn't sell for a lot of money. But if you can buy, find them cheap enough, sometimes they'll do okay certain ones. And I couldn't find anything on eBay listed or sold on these. But when I checked on worthpoint.com, I saw that there was uh, quite a few that sold for around 13 and up and I'll, I'll put some of those comps on the screen as well. So for $1.50, not bad. It may take a little while to sell, but honestly, it's only $1.50 and stuff like this will eventually sell, especially using Vendu and cross-listing this on multiple platforms. You know, same with these. If I cross-list these on Facebook, eBay, Mercari, uh, you know, I have a higher chance of getting stuff like that sold as well as the pants or the Tupperware, any of this stuff really. Right now, this was definitely interesting. These are Merrill shoes, women's slip-on shoes. And, um, you know, they're 275 
for the pair. And the only thing is that it didn't have the insoles in there all the way. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these. I may just sell these without the insole. With the insoles, I wanna say they're going for like $20, $25. I'm not, can't remember, I'll put some comps up on the screen. Now this was definitely interesting and I've heard people selling insoles like this before. Now these are Birkenstocks. And I looked these up and I was pretty surprised, like even in this condition and worse, these are selling for like 18 to $20 for a pair. Uh, so really, honestly not a bad find. I hate that these won't have insoles in them when I sell them because it's kind of a pain to like, you have to really put something on there to let people know. Sometimes they won't look in there. And I've had to cancel orders from people like that before, but you know what, it's worth it. I'm gonna probably list these for like 18 plus shipping. And then probably just do maybe 15 on the shoes since there's no insoles and in. we'll see if we can get it you know like that so really for 275 not bad at all well thanks guys for stopping by vendu's channel to be able to watch this video i hope y'all enjoyed it i'm actually probably about to be listing jeans tonight i've got so many pairs of jeans i need to get caught up so i'm going to try to knock out about 15 pairs of jeans tonight that's my goal so i'm going to get out of here i hope y'all enjoy the video take care happy thrifting bye guys